The refrigerator is easily one of the pieces of technology we take for granted the most. It keeps our drinks chilled for when we are thirsty on a hot day, and more importantly, it keeps our food and drinks fresh so that they can last longer without spoiling and causing us to get sick. But, refrigerators are also indirectly responsible for saving millions of lives from deadly diseases. This is because vaccines require refrigeration in order to be preserved. At least, that was the case until very recently. Now, scientists have found a way to preserve these important preventative medicines without the use of refrigeration. This may not sound like a major breakthrough, but for millions of people around the globe who don't have access to refrigerators, this discovery could literally mean life or death. At McMaster University in Canada, a recent PhD graduate by the name of Vince Lung worked under the supervision of Professor Carlos Felipe and led a team that would go on to preserve herpes and influenza A vaccines in temperatures as hot as 40 degrees Celsius. For those of you who are metric impaired, that is 104 degrees Fahrenheit. They specifically chose these particular vaccines for testing because they are notoriously sensitive and fragile when they aren't chilled. As surprising as it may be, the trick to preserving these vaccines involved utilizing something we commonly associate with being unhealthy, sugar. Dr. Lung was quick to credit his colleague for coming up with the idea to use sugar in the preservation process. The idea came to her while she was shopping at the grocery store. Upon looking at dissolvable Listerine breath strips, she had a brilliant insight. Those strips are made of very thin sheets of a substance known as pullulin which is a polysaccharide, or in simpler terms, a sugar. Now, it has been understood for some time that sugars can protect the molecular integrity of things like enzymes. The breakthrough idea here was to replace the Listerine ingredients with parts of a vaccine. Spoiler alert, it worked. Upon testing, the team found that pullulin helped to create a barrier that kept oxygen away from the vaccine's molecules. This also worked as a sort of shell that kept everything in order and made sure the vaccines didn't fall apart when exposed to heat. The team utilized another sugar called triolose to prevent the vaccines from drying out entirely as they were dried and placed on a film. After successfully preserving herpes and influenza A vaccines, the researchers were also able to preserve vaccines for pneumonia and an experimental Ebola vaccine. Beyond just maintaining their molecular integrity, the vaccines actually worked. They were reconstituted using a saline solution and administered to mice, and in Lung's own words, they were as safe and as effective as if they were fresh out of the fridge. In fact, they lasted two to three months outside of a refrigerator, depending on the vaccine. Now, the team is seeking funding from organizations like the Gates Foundation to improve their methods and test different vaccines, like measles, which has seen a terrifying resurgence in recent years. This is a medical breakthrough that could lead to previously unreachable treatments for millions of people, which could, in turn, result in dramatically fewer cases and outbreaks of many deadly diseases around the world.